today is March 3rd, and it's Italiano Tuesday. I, usually I actually just got back from a field trip to New York City, and we went to Little Italy for lunch, which was an amazing experience. We actually had uh, live entertainment, which included the napkin song, where everybody stood on their chairs and waved their napkins around, which was definitely a unique dining experience. But we also had absolutely amazing food, spaghetti and meatballs, garlic bread, penne pasta. It reminded me of my grandma's. It was really nice. Um, and, of course, cannolis. Who can forget cannolis? But we'll be right back after Jason brings you up to date with your announcements. Freshmen, the announcements are looking for new people to join the team. If you would like to be on camera, come to the TV studio B13. All students planning to participate in spring sports must turn in yellow forms to the nurse. Senior, senior, super, uh, senior superlative pictures will be taken on Thursday and Friday this week. A schedule of times is posted in the main lobby. Girls softball tryouts start Monday, March 9th, 4 to 6 p.m. and will take place at ESC. Take the shuttle from the high school to ESC. Shuttle leaves at 3.40 from the student parking lot. Meet in the Hall of Fame lobby. Any questions, please see Mrs. Noya House. Attention lifters, the morning weight room will be closed this Wednesday. If anybody is interested in participating in the St. Baldrick's event, see Mr. Hawthorne in room B38 by the end of this week. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, will be speaking to Congress. Concern and anger among American officials about the nature of what Netanyahu might expose had an already roiling tensions between the two countries. Secretary of State John Kerry cautioned about the damage such revelations might have on the negotiations, and President Barack Obama himself attacked Netanyahu's judgment. Netanyahu is expected to use the details to bolster his argument before Congress that the deal under discussion will not prevent Iran from getting a bomb and could therefore threaten the Jewish state's existence. Good news for a lot of ESM people, drinking three to five cups of coffee a day may be more helpful than harmful. A team of researchers in South Korea found that people who drink more coffee were less likely of heart disease. Researchers studied more than 25 to 1,000 males and females using medical scans to disease in coronary arteries. Georgia postponed its first execution of a woman in 70 years on Monday over issues with the injection drug. Officials delayed the execution because the drug appeared cloudy. Kelly Renee Gissinger, 46, was says, sentenced to die by injection of pentobarbital for the murder of her husband in 1997. We have trivia for Italiano Tuesday. The first question is, what four famous Italian artists were also Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? How many regions are there in Italy is the second question. And the last trivia question is, what is the name of the volcano that erupted in 79 AD and destroyed Pompeii and Hercleum? Now, that picture was actually Mount Etna, which is where my family was from, actually. And my grandpa went there, and he showed me some of the pictures there, and it's just such a beautiful country. So make sure you find out if you're right with the trivia questions right after your WSM 15 weather report. Hi, I'm Ellie, and here's your weather. Today should be beautiful, with sun peeking through as clouds form throughout the day. From 2 to 4 p.m., the southeastern winds will bring some accumulating snow. We will also have warm air forming this evening from the northeast. Because of this warm air, temperatures will rise tomorrow from 30 degrees to 37 degrees, which means for the first time in over a month, temperatures here in Syracuse will be over freezing. This warmer weather will not stay, which is because of the colder air hitting us Wednesday, making temperatures drop back down to the teens. And other news, today is National Cold Cut Day. Here's a video to celebrate this national holiday. Or Woo! 44, that's me! Get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 44, ladies, that's me! Woo! Gonna get some cold 
cuss today. If you guessed that Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo were the names of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you were right. Also, there are 20 regions in Italy, and the third answer is Mount Vesuvius. It's on my bucket list to visit Italy, so I'm really jealous of everyone who got to go last year on the trip to France and Italy. Uh, when my grandpa went back last year, he went through Mascari, Italy, which he, he just showed his ID and he got free food, so that would be a nice bonus for me when I go. Um, but Italy is full of beautiful landscapes and history. There's some amazing things to go see. Venice, uh, Rome, there's really no way you could get bored, and you'll definitely... There's definitely so much food that you'll never go hungry in Italy.